Hey people, so today I will be doing this look right here. I wanted to do a very summery, glowy, bronzy look because I'm so ready for this cold weather winter to be over. I, I'm done. If you want to see how I accomplish this look, then just keep watching. So I have already primed and set my eyelids. I used my hard candy eyeshadow primer as always and just set everything with a neutral shadow so that uh, I can keep from skipping lines. For my eyes today, I'm going to be going in with this little tiny Natasha Denona palette. It's the mini nude palette. I have never used Natasha Denona uh, products or eyeshadows until I bought this. And I got to tell you, these shadows are freaking amazing. The quality of these is great. Like, I absolutely love this. Um, so this is pricey, but to me it's completely worth it and it's just really nice. The first shade that I'm going to be going in with is this guy right here and I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think it's Quan or Coin, maybe Coin, Q-U-O-I-N, I don't know. Uh, it's a uh, pretty camel color and I'm going to be putting that into my crease using the Morphe M441 brush. So buff that into the crease from the outer to the inner corner and just keep doing this until you get the amount of color that you want. Oh, so looking at the back of this, it has the name of the colors and I'm a little dyslexic so I don't know if I gave the right name to that one. Uh, this color that we just put in our crease might be called Sienna. The next shade we're going to be using is this darkest brown right here and I think it's called Soil because I don't think it's called Bronzage. But we are going to put that on that same fluffy brush. We're going to buff this on the outside corner but I'm going to start out using this fluffier brush because I kind of want to uh, smoke it out a little more than I typically do on my outer corners. And I'm going into my upper crease. I don't, and I'm not going all the way in from outer to inner corner as normal. When I go into the crease, I'm stopping about uh, halfway at the halfway point of my eye. As you can see, I'm kind of winging it out. It looks uh, crappy right now, but when we clean this up, it's going to have the shape that we want. I'm going to go back in with that uh, previous color we used, that camel color, putting that on the same brush. And I'm kind of going to kind of use this to do some blending and I'm going back in with the darker color again because I want it blended but I still want this to be dark. Okay so now we're going to go in with that same dark color but we're going to be using a more dense brush. It's the Morphe M433 and I'm going to use this to pack it on darker in that outside corner there. We used the fluffier brush to distribute it more softly up over the crease into the outer corner. It was just easier to fan it out and make it a very soft wing smoky thing with the uh, fluffier brush. But I do want to make sure that this is very dense with dark color as well. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our lid color and I'm going to be using this guy right here and I do think it's the bronzage. These three shimmers in this palette go on amazingly. I do not have to put any water on my shader brush when I apply these. Um, I will be using the MAC 230 flat shader brush to put this on and dip into this guy right here. But this is the first 
like shimmer eyeshadow I think I have ever not had to put water on to show up like it is now. I actually want to put it all over the lid and I want to go into the outer corner. There's something I want to do and I think I need to put the shadow all over my lid in order to do what I'm thinking about. Now taking the M441 brush, I am blending everything and softening any harsh lines. All right, so the reason that I wanted to put that shimmer all the way to the um, outer corner is because I kind of want to do, um, I guess if you could call it like a very, very soft, smoky wing type of a situation. I don't know what else to call it. But um, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M506 brush and back in with that darker brown. And I'm going to stay on the outside of my eye. And we're going to use this to kind of do this contrast of color right here. And actually that's not as definitive as I think I want it. I'm gonna go in with this uh, little angled brush here. It's from e.l.f. Yeah, just an e.l.f. angled brush. And I'm gonna see if I can make that shape that I was going for a little more dense and definitive. I'm not going all the way to the inside of my my inner corner with this. I'm keeping it to the outside uh, corner and the outside lash line here. So now I'm going to go back in with that lid color that we used before and I'm going to use that to put it back and kind of create, help create that shape, that slant that I am uh, going for. You can see how I'm kind of like tracing the upper angle of what I did with that darker shadow. Then I'm going to go back in to help define it a little bit more. You may have to go a little bit of a uh, back and forth with this until you get that desired shape wing type of a shape. And then I'm going to go back in with that tiny little Morphe M506 brush and I want to make sure that that outer part blends in with the outside corner smokiness that we already have going on. And I want to make sure that that brown up into the crease is also still very definitive against that lid color. All right, so now we're going to kind of line our upper lash line with some black shadow. I'm gonna go in with this Violet Voss uh, Matte About You palette, and I'm gonna go in with this uh, Mia Moore color. It's just a black. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M559 brush. It's like the um, uh, flat edge brush that I use all the time for underneath of my eyes. But as you can see, it's um, smaller in length or width. Width? Maybe it's width. And you're just going to kind of stamp that very close to your lash line. And go all the way to my inner corner. And when you stamp it, you can also move it around and kind of buff it as needed. So now we're gonna go in with a makeup wipe and clean uh, a bunch of this fallout on our face. I'm not gonna make this kind of a hard cut um, shape that I normally do when I uh, clean up with my eyeshadow. 
I kind of want it to be a little more rounded. But I still want that direction. So I'm not going to make that a sharp outer wing corner. So I still want the direction to be going up. Now we are going to put a coat of mascara on our top lashes. I am using my typical Stila Huge Extreme Lash, actually. Oh, I got that right. I will be putting on false lashes today. I don't want to put on anything super, super long and dramatic. So I'm going to be using these uh, velour lashes right here and they're in the style got it from my mama. We're going to let that glue settle on the eyelashes and we're going to start on the face. In my last video, I used a bunch of products that I had splurged on uh, using Sephora gift cards and cash that I got for Christmas. And there were other products that I bought that uh, I didn't use in that video. So one of them is this Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshi Sunshine Drops. So what this is supposed to do is give you kind of a subtle glow slash tan to your face. And it is very subtle and it's very pretty. And the way you apply this is you mix it with either a serum or a moisturizer. You do not put this on by itself because apparently it would be too intense. It would be too saturated. So you do mix this with a, uh, a moisturizer or serum. So this is something else I got when I uh, bought everything for Christmas. And this is the Tarte Mermaid Skin. And it's Hydrolonic H2O Serum. This guy right here. And so I'm going to apply this before I put on my primer and I have not used the serum yet so that'll be interesting. So I'm pumping the serum onto the back of my hand and I think that was like four pumps four or five pumps and for this guy you just do one kind of a healthy pump and I wish I had a uh, mixing plate for this so I uh, have it like that and I kind of, I use the end of a brush, just something to mix it together. And also using the end of my brush, because <laughs> I don't really have anything else, to, how other way to put it on. I'm going to put this on my skin. I have oily combination skin. And so this may not be something that us oily people need to be doing. It's probably not, but I am so ready for summer and I just thought it would be cool to kind of get a summer glow vibe going, but I'm pretty sure like this serum is not something that I can use when it's summer. And normally I, when I have been using this, I've been putting it in my moisturizer. So I was just curious what this would look like using a um, serum instead. I'm also gonna just do one more pump of the serum and just a tiny, tiny dab of that drunk elephant just to take this down my neck. So um, I think you can tell on camera that that gives you kind of a nice healthy glow. The next thing I'm going in with is my primer and I am using the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. And I've used it a couple times and I used it in my last video. And I think I like it. So now I'm going to be putting on some foundation. I'm going to be using the Etherealist, Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation by Kevin Aquan. This was also something that I splurged on um, when I bought all of my Sephora Christmas things. I'm going to mix it with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. 
these guys right here and it's in the color moonlight and it has this is also kind of a bronzy glowy type of a thing and so I'm going to mix a slight amount of these with my foundation and put um, a pump and a half of foundation for now I'm gonna put a very small amount of this stuff in here so it's like Um, that's not even a drop, so that's a half drop. I wanted to put at least the full drop. Ah! All right, so that was one very generous full drop. All right, so I'm just gonna apply all this to my face. And I am going to be working this in with a damp Real Technique sponge. So adding those um, drops to the foundation definitely added some luminosity to this whole overall look here. So now I'm gonna be applying my Tarte CC under eye corrector, this guy right here. I normally, I, I, I do this before I put on any concealer or foundation and um, just because of all of the new products I'm using, I forgot. You can put this on after you put on your foundation. It's not a big deal. And I just apply this to the inner corners of my eye. Zip. All the way across to cover my dark circles. And also in doing this, you can help shape your eye makeup how you want while covering up that uh, nasty darkness under your eye. I also always apply this to the uh, brown spots on my forehead. Now I will say when it comes to this that it does cover your brown spots better I think if you do this before you put on your concealer and or foundation. Now we're going to apply our concealer and I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer and I'm using the color R30. And I just found out recently that this concealer is going away and Makeup Forever came out or is coming out with a new concealer. I got the last one of my color from my Sephora and she said, uh, chick who was helping me in the store, said that they won't be, they're just gonna have it all till they sell out and they won't get restocked on that. They're gonna come out with a new concealer. And it totally sucks because I don't know if I'm gonna like that new formula. I just, and I absolutely love this concealer, so I'm sad about that. <laughs> but I'm just taking that same damp Real Technique sponge and blending all of that concealer in. All right, so now I'm going to set my face with powder. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And this is in the color two medium. And this is the thing it kinda looks like. I think there's only like three shades. It's, it's weird, it's, there's not a lot of shades. And I'm gonna apply this in a way that I don't normally apply powder to my face, this type of setting powder. I'm going to use that big Morphe E41 brush to work this into the skin so it doesn't look quite as dense, I guess, as when I do it with the sponge or my um, smaller brush. I'm putting that all over my face. Just take that down your neck as well. And I take it onto my chest. 
Next, I'm going to go in with my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, this guy right here. And I'm going to be applying that to my under eyes using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And this is to set your concealer in the yellow banana <laughs> color. Is just one more step, one more defense to hiding your dark circles. Next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and I will be using the Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal. And this is in the color Light Brunette. Okay, so I completely lied. There is nothing, I just bought this and there's nothing coming out of it. Like, it all just fucking fell out, I guess. <laughs> Shit. I have a tiny bit left of the Light Brunette on my uh, brow stylist shape and fill for this guy. So hopefully I can finish out my brows using what I got left here. Okay, so now we are going to finish the eyes. I'm gonna go back into my little Natasha Denona palette. So I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M213 brush, and I'm gonna go back into that dark brown color that we used and tap it on the edge. I want to connect my bottom lash line to the outside corner and I'm not using my flat definer brush because I don't want to have a harsh edge going into the outer corner here and because of this rounded edge it buffs it in less harshly I go all the way to my inner corner. So now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E18 smudge brush and we're going to go back into that um, light camel color again and coat this guy and use it to buff out that bottom color that we just put on. Now I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs black highlighter and I'm going to line my bottom water lines and tight line. So for my inner corners and my brow bone, I'm going to go into my little Smashbox um, Spotlight Palette Pearl. And it's got these three um, highlight shades in it and I love this. This was also something that I bought when I went uh, shopping at my splurge. Did not need more highlighters, but I absolutely love these. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and it's called Blow a Fuse Pearl. Now I'm just going to go in with my uh, Steel on Mascara again and put a coat on our bottom lashes. And our eyes are all done. I'm gonna be applying that bronzer to my face using the Kat Von D brush number four. I'm gonna do some bronzing of the face and kind of a light contour is what it ends up looking like. This uh, Hula bronzer is not patchy. I don't have any patchiness problems with it. And like I said, at the end of the day, it's still there. The, uh, so it stands up to the oils on my face really, really well. At least in the winter. So the true test will be how this holds up on my face during the summer. Then I'm gonna take that big Morphe brush and take that bronzer down my neck and onto my chest. I'm 
Oh, yes. Almost forgot. Do a light little, light little contour on the nose. And I like to do this just so my nose doesn't disappear into my face. So something else to help with our bronzy glow look we're going for today. I'm going to be using a color out of my little balm, the Manizer. Yeah, the Manizer Sisters. Um, and it's got a highlight in it that I use all the time. And it's got this bronzy uh, shimmer here. I don't tend to use that because I don't put um, shimmery bronzers on my face. But I am going to apply some of this lightly to help us with that gold bronzy glow we're going for. So I'm going to take a less dense brush for this. This is the Morphe M500 brush. I'm just going to dip into that. It's called uh, the Betty Luminizer. I'm just going to lightly... Put that on like the cheek area basically tracing everywhere that you put the matte bronzer i'm not gonna go i'm gonna go to the sides like the temples but i am not gonna put this on my forehead because my forehead gets so shiny by itself and it's gonna be interesting to see how shiny it is at the end of the day with all of these products that we used. The blush I'm gonna be using is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And I'm actually gonna use this guy right here. It's called Feisty. And I think this was either a points perk or a uh, birthday gift, I'm not sure. And I am going to be applying that with my angled Morphe brush. So for highlight, I'm gonna go into my Becca Champagne Pop. This broke and crumbled on me, and so I ended up doing the mix it with um, alcohol and try to get it into one piece again, and this was my lousy attempt. And so when I'm going for like a more bronzy, glowy look, I feel like Champagne Pop is just absolutely perfect for that. I will reach for this one pretty much over any other one I'm going for a look like this and I will be applying it with my Morphe M501 brush. So for my lips today, I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Liquid Lipstick. I've had it for a while. I never use it and I'm not sure why. <laughs> This is in the color Naked. I'm going to be going over this with my Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquer and this is in the color called Skin Deep. And lastly, I'm going to be using this Jouer Lip Topper here, and it's in the color Saint Tropez, and it's going to add some sparkle to these lips. Next, I'm going to set my eyebrows using the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Next, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to set all of this on my face. I normally use the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray, but since we're kind of going for that glowy look, I'm not going to be using that one today. Next, we dry. All right, people, so this is the finished look. I am so ready for summer to be back. I am just done with the cold weather. I don't like the cold weather. So after the holidays are over with, I really am just like, okay, summer, come back now. I um, just wanted to create a glowy bronzy look uh, just cause that's, I'm in that frame of mind. That's, that's where I want to get to. 
and um, the products that I used are not the best for oily skin. I am interested to see how my face is gonna look at the end of the day, just because uh, I am oily. But for those of you who are dry, everything that I used are great products to make you look very dewy and glowy and slightly bronzed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that little bell down below um, just so that you're notified the next time that I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time.